In my last video discussing Azrael, we spoke a little bit about holy damage, skill damage, and just raw attack. And it got me thinking, how many of you actually know how these things work, and is it really best to go with skill damage on Azrael? So we've got an interesting amount of things to talk about today, and we can delve into these different skills and actually figure out which ones are good for your heroes, and how you can apply these stones and understand which ones will be a better choice for you. So let's start off with raw attack, and I could actually bring up a helpful little article that was actually put on, funnily enough, the Idle Heroes Wiki, which is normally a terrible resource where you won't get any helpful information whatsoever, but actually in this particular circumstance, it contains something very useful. So let's take a look at this. You can see that there are multiple stones at Soulstone 3. The most important ones we want to take a look at are Attack Attack, which is 4,000 attack as a base stat, and then 37% attack, and then we'll go take a look at Attack Skill Damage. So instantly, Attack Skill Damage has a 1550 attack bonus, so already there is a flat increase in the base if you go with Attack Attack, which is equal to 2450, which scales with percentage bonuses. So that's already significant and something definitely worth thinking about. And then also there's an Attack 24%, so you're also getting a 13% better attack bonus. But skill damage on an attack attack skill damage stone gives you skill damage equal to 80%. Now, if we hop into Idle Heroes real quick, we could talk about how skill damage works. Skill damage basically turns a hero's active skill or basic skills or damage over time, whatever it is that is in a bracket within a percentage attack, it makes that number higher. So in the case of Azrael, his passive here that's 450 would be increased by 80% because of the 80% skill damage. So this would become 530. Now, this is normally good with smaller numbers, but you've got to understand the difference that this brings compared to using something like holy damage or just raw attack. If you go ahead and upgrade him all the way up to Void 4, this skill will be a 500% attack increase, which means it becomes 580. However, heroes in the guild tech, if you didn't know, automatically get 20% skill damage. And that's the same for every single faction. They all have this one aura here as their fifth guild tech tree, which gives 20% skill damage. So in the case of assassins, we have a 20% skill damage. So really the base skill damage for Azrael is going to be 520% on his upgraded form. Now that's really important. How do we take the number 520 and extrapolate just how good 80% skill damage is gonna be? Well, we go ahead and grab a calculator and we can go and pull up some numbers. So what we wanna do is find out what the difference between 520 and adding 80% to that is gonna be. So when you add 80%, you get 600. Let's divide that by the 520 and we get this number here, which in our case is 1.1538. And all we care about is the numbers after the decimal place because if we minus one to get ourselves those numbers after the decimal place then times this by 100 we end up with the percentage bonus that you actually get from the skill damage and in this case it's 15.38 so it's just under 15.4 percent now what's really irritating is you are about to learn why skill damage is frequently referred to as the worst possible thing you could stick on a hero. Because if we return to our little wiki article here, you'll see that if you look at holy damage, this gives a 36% increase. Now, holy damage deals 70% of attack, something around that, and ignores armor. And that's pretty significant. Armor ignoring damage is really, 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 really helpful because it gets past people's defenses. But when you compare that to an 80% skill damage increase, that 36, if we go grab our calculator up, let's just go 36 times 0 0.7, that's a 25.2% increase. That's way better than the skill damage is. So when I referred to skill damage potentially being good on Azrael, turns out it's absolutely rubbish. It's a terrible thing to suggest, and I'm really sorry that I did that in the video, because I thought with these lower numbers and the fact it hits three times, it would have actually added up quite nicely, but just running the numbers on this, it actually isn't going to do that. Also, in some later testing that Barry did, um, he actually found out that actually skill damage doesn't even affect this starter thing. Even if it did, it would be like a minute difference, so it's not even that impactful, but it's a shame. So when, for one moment, we could actually have a hero who uses skill damage wonderfully and brilliantly, it turns out no, 
No, we don't. And in fact, you've then got to weigh up what's better, that 25% increase that you get from holy damage or the 13% increase you get from attack attack alongside the bonus that you get adding to the base stat, which is equal to 2,450. Now, in most cases, attack attack holy damage is going to be better, and that is just the way, unfortunately, these things work. Now, you may have heard before that damage over time is impacted by skill damage. Uh, this is not exclusive from the thing it's just how damage over time is written so if i bring up someone like nakir for example if you take a look her bleed is equal to 100 of attack this is just formatted like any other thing where it's a skill in a bracket and that is what skill damage will affect it is just that normally and typically in the olden days of idle heroes and still technically today in some extents this small bracket is usually a lower value, so the percentage effect of skill damage is much more significant. For example, if you add 80% to 100%, that is a whopping increase. That's 80% increased on top of that. Now, with the bonuses that you get from guild tech, this would really be 120%, so it's not as impactful. It's more like 66% of an increase. Another thing you've got to bear in mind is when you imprint a hero, these numbers in brackets go up anyway, so actually you get diminishing returns from skill damage because it is additive, and it's a huge shame. As they add more power creep to the game, skill damage becomes less important, but holy damage continues to scale and attack continues to scale. That is why people very, very rarely recommend skill damage, and it's unfortunate that even in this case with Azrael, it's not very very good. So yeah, I take it back. Skill damage is a terrible thing to put on Azrael. Um, I was wrong. Um, I was huffing some major copium, getting excited that this could be good. But uh, just running the numbers, you can see that it is definitely not good enough. 15% of an increase is still not good enough, even compared to an attack attack stone. And when you consider an attack attack holy damage stone, the bonus you're getting is significant. You're getting a 25% increase just from using holy damage. And then, yeah, sure, you're losing 13% because that's the difference between the attack bonus of attack attack holy damage compared to attack attack. But what you make up for that is armor ignoring damage and 25% is a huge number. So yeah, difficult to justify and it kind of leaves me with a pretty sour taste in my mouth. But what was to be expected, right? Skill damage being good in this game? No chance. So, yep, continue to think that skill damage is bad. It's never going to be good. And for that reason, may I draw your attention to the Gate of the Void real quick and the Galactic Tree, because this is something that still gets completely forgotten by a lot of people. This star spawn here, the Dark One, he does increase skill damage, and that's why he's really, really bad. Whereas Trevor, the Transcendence One, he increases all damage dealt, which is fantastic. And the Light One is just as good as he increases holy damage. So, yeah. Definitely go for those rather than the dark one. And if you pull the dark one from a somber egg, I'm sorry. Hopefully that's been informative about how skill damage works, how holy damage works, and whether it's good to go with attack attack. One final point is that when it comes to tenants, it's always good to have their raw attack stat as the thing that's high. And also some heroes' skills will scale directly with their raw attack stat. Like Azrael's active skill, for example, his damage he deals to himself scales off of his raw attack stat. So it's about having as much attack on those heroes as possible to give you either better tenant bonuses or better damage from their skills. If, however, holy damage can come into play, holy damage is the better pick, and only if the numbers are super duper low and you can get a massive percentage increase does skill damage come into play but most of the time skill damage it's not very good if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit that subscribe button hopefully it's a way we can explain and extrapolate the game and it's also a way that i can do a thought exercise to neck smack myself that i should not recommend skill damage in any means because there's this goodness there's, there's no way it's going to be good so yep we're all getting a lesson here today and that's a good thing i'll see you next time guys happy idling